Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and this is actually a reshoot of my intro for this guy because at the time I didn't think that John Mashita would agree to an interview because there was a long discussion between me and him like uh, it, uh, it took a while to set everything up and at one point I thought that uh, you know it just couldn't happen but it did and I'm extremely happy it was a thrilling experience to interview Mr. Mashita and I will be eternally grateful to this fantastic man. But I did pick up that figure when we started talking about uh, doing an interview because I realized, hell, I don't have a blur. And this figure, uh, who's now been played with and messed with, uh, is uh, fantastic. Uh, people complain a lot about the cable, uh, but um, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, we've seen figures with worse cable and worse QC issues, so. This guy had no issues and he's uh, pretty good. And he's a faithful representation and there's light piping. So, you know, um, so what you see um, going forward is something that I've shot a while back. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna rewatch the whole thing because it's already edited. So if I mention that things didn't work out for the interview, just scratch that out. It doesn't, it's not true. John Mashita was absolutely fantastic. Go check it out. Also check out my voice acting spotlight, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also wait until the end of the video so you can get your 10% discount code at DJC Collectible, my sponsor. Sweet dino, would you step into the nice space for blood? Pretty please, pretty 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 please. Nice dino, good dino, would you grunt up in the cherry and some whipped cream? Nice dino, good dino, sweet dino. Well, now that he's out of the box, I'm absolutely happy to have him. So, you know, great job, me. Uh, take a look at the instructions. Uh, you know, these are the instructions. Pause when you need them. This is the other side of the instruction. Do the same thing. I'm actually, I'm gonna have to look at those. I've never actually transformed them yet but he feels really good in hand. So let's uh, do the box first, you know. Uh, good box art. Product shot, looks really good. I'm gonna have to figure out where he used that, I can't recall. And gun placement, eh. So, and then the backdrop included, yep. But uh, that's pretty much. All right, so here's a box. Let's move blur on this side. The backdrop is uh, the backdrop where Perceptor tells them, hey, we're screwed. So it's, it's nice enough, really. You could have used a different part of the city so that you can do a diorama. For those people that actually like this. And I've never seen anybody actually display those. So. Uh, but then I don't follow everybody. And now the figure itself, the mold, you look at it, it's blur. Absolutely blur. I mean, I think they did a better job on the face sculpt. Uh, than they did with Cup. Could have used a little more details on the lips. Maybe there's too much paint, but it's kind of covered. But you have a bit of paint on the head. Uh, the very hard to see uh, Autobot logo. Nice clear window with seats. The, unless I'm completely crazy, maybe when I transform him. Uh, yeah, they're not seats at all. Sorry, I just looked at the box. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, good uh, good window thing. They kind of look like seat, but anyway, uh, this is a huge kibble, but live with it. Not bad. I mean, the details, molding details is, uh, molded details are a little, you know, that there's a couple lines, but it's not super extensive, but you know, it's pretty good paint. You know, you have the, uh, uh the painted white, uh, on the blue. I don't know if it's blue plastic painted, uh, white or white plastic painted blue i'm not good with those I'm not good with colors you know that's what being colorblind means but uh yeah uh, details here a uh, bit of a backpack not too not too bad and then you have oh just that light piping uh it's uh hard i can't do it with my but i think maybe there is some light piping anyway uh, figure it out and i'll let you know later in the video so overall uh good uh, the gun very detailed uh, you know they could use some uh, decals for that some paint 
Uh, same thing with the soldering gun. Looks okay. All right, let's take a look at the articulations. First off, you can spin him. Oh, nice ratchet, like it's a soft ratchet. Spin him like a Ferris wheel. It's really good. You have the knee band, uh, the elbow band. Uh, the arms are on a kind of a double end, I guess, because of the transformation. But um, yeah. see, oh, I like that ratchet. It doesn't s sound like a ratchet, but it does spin like one. But you get uh, the arms up to here. That's pretty good. Same thing on the other side. I like how it's done. I really do. Uh, you have, well, let's remove one gun. And uh, you have, uh, you don't have, do you? You have, oh yeah, you do. I thought that it was uh, a fixed hand, but no, you do have a rotation. Oh, I'm not going to force it. It doesn't seem to be wanting to go 360, so I'm not going to force it. Um, we have a waist. Yep. Merry go around. There we go. Uh, kick back. Kick forward. Knee bend, 90 degree. All good. We have a rocker. You have. Oh. No, you don't have a back and forth. So that's probably because of transformation. You go back there. And. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, the head, you know, super fast. It's going to go uh, up, down. And no attitude. So yeah, overall, a good representation of the character. And uh, now let's uh, transform him and take a look at the vehicle mode. And I totally forgot to do my stupid gimmick. Anyway, a fantastic representation, I think. Uh, this is my first blur. I don't have any G1s and everything. And I didn't get the power of the primes or whatever from the previous line. And uh, this, I'm actually really satisfied with it. I will not display him with the gun, but I just wanted to show you the storage. Basically, the soldering gun goes here over the gun. And then if you have the vehicle mode, you can see there's some holes, you know, some gappage, but it's not that bad. Uh, it, it cleans up actually really well. Um, you know, there's, you know, if you take the time to close every gap, you know, the foot and everything. Looks really good. Uh, good uh, representation of blur futuristic car it looks like he goes really fast and nothing to say really that you know there's nothing okay it doesn't look you know it, you, you can see some robot parts from the top and from the side like this looks pretty good i'm happy to have this guy it looks really good uh you know he's hovering because of the feet that stick out you can, you know, pretend that he's hovering. So I think that's uh, pretty neat. Uh, the accessories are stored if you need it. Uh, you have the Autobot logo, the clear windshield. You have a seat, a freaking seat. I That's something I've been saying it's missing on every War for Cybertron um, and, you know, every recent figures uh, from Hasbro. Uh, if it's hidden, there's no seat. And to me, that removes a lot of the playability and, you know, the imagination for kids. To say okay this is where i would sit so here this is where i would sit if i was young and in space anyway um really love the details you know the little uh i don't know ribbing here uh the two-tone um, of color well three tone of colors uh for, for the front uh you could use some decals and uh i might i don't know i might and uh yeah Really good uh, robot uh, vehicle mode. I'm actually really happy. And uh, even if I waited too long for uh, this review, I'm actually glad that I did it. So let uh, me put him back on uh, robot mode and uh, do my final thoughts. In the end, this is a fantastic figure. I'm really happy I got it. I did not want to pick him up because he's not one of my favorite characters. But you know what? He's pretty well engineered. I love how the mechanism to transform the arms is done. Transformation is fun. He has a seat. I'm really happy I decided to open the, this uh, this box and that I got him, even if it was for the wrong reason. I'm not regretting that purchase at all so in the end guys thanks for uh, dropping by i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those and remember 
Living in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.